Hello people, welcome to my new video after a long pause of two months. This is because I have been traveling and then I sold my PC. Uh, then I was, I've been waiting for the parts to arrive to complete this build. This one is sort of a budget build, uh, not really fancy, but does the job for me and this is what I need. So anyhow, uh, this gives me one unique opportunity to see what happens if we update Void Linux after a long break, let's say two months. Uh, in my opinion, two months for a rolling release is a long time, right? So in this video, we will see that how uh, what Linux behaves, how long it takes and so on. Uh, but before that, uh, I go into this area of updating Word Linux. I want to share my experience very quickly. When I uh, actually I sold my old PC without my drives. I mean, I kept my drives because it has all the data and my Windows environment to set up my applications and so on. So uh, then there's sensitive data. I, can, I don't want to sell without scrapping it or uh, so anyhow uh, I was thinking as soon as I will Install my old drives into the new system. It should boot automatically as if nothing happened but uh, what happened is that um, BIOS was not detecting Linux drive as a bootable disk. So eventually I was able to boot into Windows, but uh, the the Linux drive was not being detected as a bootable device. So my setup is like I'm using my uh, Linux uh, Linux uh, drive as a boot manager where Grub is installed and I'm able to decide whether I want to boot into Linux or Windows. So that is very quickly I'll share how to fix that if you ever face a problem with your uh, uh, Grub. So if you just type restore Grub after Windows 10 update, this is a very famous catchy phrase. You will find a whole lot of different solutions people are showing, sometimes using third party tools or sometimes live uh, Linux USBs. Uh, but the, the best one I found is this one from Ubuntu forums. Uh, as you can see here, the, uh, the grub is dead. So basically, you just need to scroll down. This guy is talking something which is not relevant in our case. So yeah, this one is the best answer. This guy has summarized the detailed explanation of another user that you can see in this link. Uh, I will share, of course, in the description of this video. If you want to understand step by step uh, details that why this command is there and what it does, then you can you should go to this link. But if you are looking for a quick solution, you can use this, the first link. So this guy, first of all, is mounting the Linux partition. Then he's uh, mounting system directories using for if, uh, for if loop and then he is mounting the boot partition because uh, we have these days mostly EFI setups and then he is chi rooting or chi rooting from uh, the live CD to the actual installation and then lastly he is updating his grub he is just to be on the safe side he is telling people to install uh, reinstall grub on the same Linux drive upgrade grub and that's that should be it but uh, to do these commands you will need two things uh, first of all you will uh, need a uh, thumb drive um, which should be like at uh, 1 GB or more 1 GB is fine and then uh, you will need a live CD image uh, you can use any distribution but I decided to use Void Linux so you just go to the Void Linux website download page and then from there you can uh, install the base uh, image it's a very small download should be very quick and then burn it on the USB not burn it kind of flash it or whatever using a tool like Rufus this one is open source and free so you can make a bootable USBs using this tool so once you download the image use that uh, the software to flash it on your flash drive and then boot your system with that uh, thumb drive and then run these commands simple as that so once i did that i was able to boot into word linux like normal and then that's the point where the fun begins i ran the update command after two months so let's get into the details so as soon as i booted into word linux my system was although it was two months old and it was working perfectly fine i ran the normal update command and uh, it basically 
there were like two steps. So in the first step, it told me to update the package manager, which is XBPS, as you can see on the screen. And uh, so the idea was that first of all, I will update a very specific package using uh, switch hyphen U, and that will update the package manager. Once that is done, I simply run the update command, which is typical XBPS install hyphen SU, and then I got the whole list of all the packages. Uh, they were like uh, one and a half gigabytes of download, almost four gigabytes of installed space. Uh, I knew that it will take a while to download, so I decided to run the Steam as well, and I just play one game these days, War Thunder. So, okay, I think I forgot my Steam password. Um, let me recall, let me fix, all right, I think this should work. Oh yeah, so basically um, I decided to update my game as well. So basically I'm running two downloads. And uh, I was thinking to do one more experiment that uh, while, any, what, what happens if I'm just playing game and the updates continue? I expect there might be some lag maybe hyping because of the download going on and maybe some lag spe specifically when the kernel is compiling NVIDIA drivers. So that's something I really expect but in general I am hoping that my system should work fine, it should be perfectly stable. So uh, I'm running by the way this video in uh, 8x speed, 8 times the speed so you might see some gibberish here and there. I'm just waiting for the game to download and as soon, sorry the game update to download and then as soon as it is done I will start playing game while the steam not the steam sorry the, the the package manager goes on to update my system and yes my system is my game is working is doing some typical crap of analyzing files All right. <clears throat> so this thing is telling me to download 51 gigabytes. Uh, that's just stupid. I'm going to cancel it. But as you can see, as my system is updating, the game is working perfectly fine. And let me join a random match and see how it behaves. All right, great. So the match is working, of course, as expected. Uh, I will be in battle. Uh, don't worry about the the lag you see because that's 8x uh, speed and uh, but in general uh, I'm getting about 120 plus FPS ping is a bit high but it's generally playable now here I am feeling some lag there is a significant drop in FPS from 150 plus or 100 plus to 45 and 50 FPS and at this point I am pretty sure that kernel is compiling NVIDIA drivers so basically this is what I like about Linux is fully modular and all is updates were done perfectly I just rebooted and the system was fine so to summarize what I did in this video I migrated to a newer hardware I had to fix scrub which is fine and understandable using uh, live USB and cheroot command then I did the usual install uh, command for, I mean update install command and then uh, only issue I faced was my USB Wi-Fi driver for RTL chip it's not a void issue, but it's typically there for every Linux uh, distribution. And then you saw me, I was playing game while the updates were working. So all in all, I would say void Linux is perfectly stable. And uh, if something breaks, it most probably be the user who broke things. I hope you like this experiment and hope to see you in the future as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.